So today I'm going to be addressing a comment I've been seeing lately, and that is about the privets being invasive. The short and sweet answer to that is yes, privets are invasive and mostly are from China. However, when you label something Chinese privet, that is pretty much a large broad statement without knowing everything included. So if all you wanted to know was that if the privets are invasive and that's how you're gonna make your decision whether you plant it or not, and there you go, it's invasive. Now, there is a huge distinction with most of the information that you see when they're talking about privets being invasive. And that is the science say is typically the one that they're talking about and the one they show. The science say pretty much looks just like the one I have in that green color, white, uh, white flowers. However, they grow a little differently. And again, it's hard to tell without constantly being checking on pictures and seeing them in, an, in a different environment instead of an, in a hedge form. But one big difference is that the science say grows rather large, sometimes 20 plus feet and becoming more of a tree than a shrub. This makes a substantial difference of how it affects the ecology surrounding it. Now, beside going into that deep rabbit hole, there are certain things that we're doing to mitigate some of the evasive nature, being that we're using these privets as a hedge. So when you trim your, your hedges two, three times a year, you are preventing a lot of that propagation going on, meaning that you're reducing the flowers, the flowers are not being fully pollinated, and the seeds are either not being uh, to full development, which affects the vi viability of those seeds. Now, an interesting point I would like to add is that interestingly enough, almost all of these invasive species that I'm gonna show have been here for 150 years or so. And it's rather interesting to see how much ecological impact they've actually had in that time. Now, of course, the Senense has had some major ecological impact. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that the way everything is described, you would think that these things would cover the entire United States. If you've been watching my hedge videos, you know that these things grow super fast in those two years. How much could... How could they not have been an outbreak in 150 plus years? So anyways, so the first example I'm gonna show is the privet that I that I planted and I have, which is, a, which is a smaller variety, and it's not as tough as what most people call Chinese privet, the science. And then here I'll show the major impact that the science has had on its own. And again, these are perfect conditions because that is kind of like in a wet area, that's what it likes. Now, if they want to worry about something, how about worrying about our lawns? Most of our lawns are nothing but invasive species. Some now are classified as native by the USDA because it would take too much time and money to remove, i.e. Kentucky bluegrass, which is rather ironic. I guess marketing wins, but that's how it is, right? So lawns take thousands of acres of habitat which are now lost they are nutrient stealers and they only create environments for grass itself to just grow there's very little area for pollinators uh, we mow the lawn most of us using gas engines so i mean whether you want to side with that or not it's one thing but we're doing that uh, the amount of water we we use on the lawn uh, the petroleum-based fertilizers that affect what little wildlife remains and you know just the very nature of these grasses themselves uh, they crowd out other native grasses they push down flowers which again affects pollinators and some of the grasses like uh, tall fescue have an ability to inhibit tree root growth so Something that we take for granted every day is having a rather large ecological impact. All right, so I'm going to start wrapping it up. I apologize. I'm not very well spoken, and this is just something off the cuff that I just decided to do because it was bothering me. Uh, I'm not trying to besmirch anyone here. If you don't want to do it, if you're really 
into only having native species in your property that's awesome and i'm not besmirching anybody that if they want to you know use all the chemicals and and all the stuff on their lawn to make it beautiful green and have no bugs and everything else that's not what this is about this is about directing uh the, this this whole thing towards the people that are likely being hypocrites and they're only being selective about what is bad so anyways i know i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this uh, i really appreciate everybody who's stuck around on on this one it's, it's pretty bad i know uh hopefully i'll have something uh better for you all soon and i hope to see you there and hopefully we can just move on from this and just <laughs> just keep having some fun so thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one